right, round two, so to speak, on the USS Defiant. Uh, this will be my second go around, but uh, for the purposes of this video, this is gonna be a complete tutorial on how I'm going to be doing uh, the redo of my USS Defiant. Uh, for reference, this is my current model. I'll go ahead and uh, turn these lights off for the moment so you can see. Uh, this was the uh, second model I did. Uh, should I get it right? That I did my own lights. Um, and this was very rudimentary. Like this was the model before I did uh, Voyager with the uh, navigation lights. Should be able to see windows throw it out. So it was the first, no, it was the second time I did uh, <clears throat> window drilling out. Uh, I did the first time with, uh, with uh, Excelsior. Um, but the setup with this was simply just five millimeter um, LEDs uh, in the front and back of the of the uh, the warp nacelle, one behind each of the impulse engines, and then uh, one for the front here, and then there's uh, a big old uh, non-dense light strip in the middle for all the other internal lights here. So it's not bad. However, uh, as I've learned and grown, I've wanted to redo this model for a while, not this specific model, but like a whole line of models, uh, Excelsior being another one of them, uh, to basically just put in navigation lights. Uh, with the Defiant specifically, I would like to have a spotlight, uh, even though I'm not a huge fan of the Raytheon effect, uh, I would probably uh, be doing it uh, on my redo. Um, there's a few other like lights that kind of show up that I didn't do on here. This is a very simple model and I didn't even properly light block uh, the inside here. And in fact, you can actually see a lot of like painting imperfections if we, if we get in real close. That's where we come in with version two. We'll go ahead and open ourselves up. We've got our lovely display stand. Uh, the, the filled-in rod, uh, won't be using that because this is completely filled in. There's no, no hollowness to it. So for, unfortunately, that's completely useless to us. Stand, of course, we'll use, um, we'll deal with that later. Of course, we've got all of our parts. Now, I may have to compare this with I may not have any spare parts from my um, previous U uh, Defiant kits, but I don't remember the plastic being molded in this color. I think it was closer to like a like a gray, but this is more more in line with what the base color is. Like this is this is sort of a very washed like duck egg blue. Uh, of course, it's going to be completely covered in paint. There's there's no getting around it. You have to you have to light block everything. Not a lot of sprues. Um, not a lot in terms of uh, modifying parts. Uh, the only real modifications we're going to need to be doing is the uh, navigation lights. The strobes <clears throat> and then of course uh, anywhere that needs to be opened up in order to allow uh, wires or lights to get through. Um, when I did my first ship I had to um, open up the the bazaars here. These are the, these are what the bazaars are going to be uh, mounted to. These these clear parts here can be mounted back here. When I did it, I opened up the entire thing. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a um, probably a three millimeter drill bit or a two millimeter drill bit and likely going to just uh, drill enough to where I can get a uh, 1.8 millimeter uh, LED mounted to the back. Uh, those only have sort of the very end is uh, 1.8 millimeters, but the back uh, of it uh, is is uh, wide enough that I can just uh, UV uh, resin mount it to the back 
and it will just hold in place and it's not going to protrude out enough to interfere with uh, connecting uh, the bizarre collectors. So um, I'll definitely be uh, painting everything white in the back uh, to make sure I light block it this time. Uh, definitely going to make sure I get uh, the uh, deflector a bit better masked or use a better mask or at least pay better attention to uh, the painting because without yeah like even like there's yeah <clears throat> for for reference I built this in a week and it may show like it it's decent but yeah I built this in a week <clears throat> and I definitely want to do better so uh, that's all the parts here um, I've got everything planned out here on my iPad so I'm gonna get everything off the sprues uh, and then I'm gonna start modifying everything I've got a couple of hand drills here I've got my favorite one here uh, I get to press down uh, I got a 0.5 millimeter um, drill bit here for uh, the, the navigation strobe lights. Uh, so you get all the window decals here. Uh, you actually get lit and unlit ones, uh, obviously because we're lighting the model. Uh, we don't need any of the windows. We're just gonna be using the black uh, windows as guides uh, to drill in. Uh, you'll notice a few uh, that's larger. Uh, You'll just be using uh, probably, let's see what we got here, probably a 0.8 or a one millimeter. If we have those, we have all the paneling. Like I, that's what I love about this this kit, this little kit. Like it's 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 a neat little little model kit that comes with all the paneling. Uh, so all I have to do is just base coat it, um, panel wash. Uh, the, uh, the torpedo launchers and the uh, the sensor pallets here. Like this is like. Like for anyone starting their first model for, for lighting and just in general, like want to start something really simple, this is a good model to do. It's like, this is a very simple model to do. All right, so get that out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and get my snippers out, cut up everything, and we will be back later. All right, at this point, we have everything off the sprues. Uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, take a, we're gonna use a 2.5 millimeter uh, drill bit where with all the larger holes, I'm gonna just slightly expand them. This is just gonna make it easier uh, for when we have to kind of sandwich everything together. Uh, since this is a snap fit kit, uh, these connection points are meant uh, to basically, in lieu of glue, just be able to press these parts together and they'll just be able to friction fit together. But because we're gonna be essentially kind of test fitting going in and out. Uh, we don't really need these to be, uh, you know, as tight. So we can just expand these holes. And that's all for the primary hole here for the, for the, main, the main hole. So if you're, so now instead of it being stuck together, now it just pull apart. It's not, it's not enough to where it falls apart. Um, some more sanding to do on, on there. With sandpaper, doing it with files is gonna screw up all of this. But anyway, so that's expanded. Uh, so I've cut out the connection points uh, on both sides of the cells here on the outboard side. Uh, the reason being is that we're gonna have an LED that's gonna be sitting right here and we're gonna have an LED that's gonna be sitting right here. Uh, these are gonna be attaching directly to the main hole itself. So we're gonna need to keep those uh, intact. Uh, I am however going to be taking, and use this two millimeter drill bit here and just gonna be it's gonna be big enough to slide in but we're basically just aiming to just expand the hole a little bit not even a whole lot just enough to take away some of the material and ultimately that's just gonna make it easy for us to, to pop the parts in and out in case you know something's not fitting right you know with wires so it should just allow us to put those in 
bottom. So we can friction fit those, but we don't have to worry about it coming apart. Uh, just don't flex in, otherwise you'll probably break the piece. The goal is we're gonna assemble all of the top pieces together. So what we're gonna have to do with this part is that we're gonna have to make a gap in here in order to allow lights to come through. Uh, with this part in particular, we're gonna have a, a strobe light here, a strobe light coming through the bottom with uh, this little part. Uh, like I have to essentially drill through this little plastic part here. Probably have to use a five millimeter drill bit. And I'm probably just gonna use the existing hole here because it's gonna be a strobe light coming through the center here, as evident by right here. There's also gonna be a couple of spotlights on the bottom. We have to sort of carve out here. I think I'm gonna actually have to put a drill bit straight on through here. We'll go ahead and uh, got that taken care of. All the holes have been expanded. Uh, so what we're gonna do now uh, is anywhere that's, I don't think there's any on the top here. Oh, actually there is. Um, so since I'm gonna be doing a Raytheon effect for the spotlight here, uh, I'm gonna be doing a uh, fiber optic coming out from the top of here. Uh, and then I'm gonna have, there's, I take that back. There's there's two strobes here, spotlight here. There's gonna be uh, behind here, and these these areas here. Uh, I'm gonna be masking them off because uh, in the show they kind of glow red. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna paint these uh, red directly on the plastic before I start uh, masking anything. Same with these Little circles here. Uh, probably have to get a light underneath them to mask them properly, but uh, these two little circles kind of glow. Uh, so we'll, we'll put a, um, we'll put a liquid mask on the top here, on the top here, and then I'll probably use masking tape underneath here uh, to mask them off, uh, draw out a hole for the spotlight and the, uh, the strobes here. Uh, these will get, uh, drilled out on this side with uh, two millimeter drill bits, just big enough for uh, a single LED to be put behind here. Uh, like I said, all clear parts are gonna get uh, blasted with white in the back just to uh, prevent hot spots. Same with the back of the deflector. Um, with the, uh, this is also another reason why I'm glad I expanded the parts because what I'm gonna have to do uh, with this set assemble basically these two halves and what's gonna happen is that there's a set of uh, navigation lights no. there's a set of navigation lights non-blinking from what I see that are both on uh, this side and this side is a pair uh, of Green strobes, uh, strobes, green uh, navigation lights and rabbit navigation lights are the only colored lights on the whole ship. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, drill those out. So what I'm gonna do, um, where I know the, the locations of everything are, is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pick and I'm gonna score every area that's gonna get uh, basically uh, drilled with this. Here, I'm going to go ahead and mark where I know I'm going to drill out. I'm just going to go ahead, and this is why I love, I don't love the size of the drill bit because it breaks easy, but what we do. Take a little bit of time to 
depending on the thickness of the plastic. As you can see, it run out straight through. Uh, you can go ahead and just kind of use the drill bit, not with the water force, because uh, with half a millimeter drill bits, and I know this from experience, I've broken probably several dozen of these on many of my projects. You flex it any, any direction, they will break. So just carefully, in a circular motion, kind of grind down the hole a little bit. Doesn't need a whole lot. That's all you're gonna need. You can do it on this side too, just to make sure the fiber optic goes through, you have enough clearance. If you happen to mess up on any of these, just fill it with putty and sand it, uh, and then just start again. Uh, usually I just make sure I'm careful enough to do it the first time, uh, but if you mess up, it's not the end of the world. two fiber optics on one. And I'll show you how I mount the, the fiber optics and where to optimally place them. Uh, but those will be uh, our holes drilled out for the spotlights and the strobes here. Um, I'm gonna be cutting out a portion of the plastic here because when you sandwich this, uh, the warp nacelle will cover it up. There's gonna be uh, plenty of area for us to cut out because we're gonna need this area cut out on both sides, uh, depending on the thickness of your wire. Um, that's gonna be your clearance for everything going into your, your warp nacelles. And it's not gonna be too complicated. Uh, we're actually probably gonna feed the fiber optics from the uh, navs through here, just so we don't clutter up uh, the warp nacelle. The warp nacelle is just gonna have a LED uh, here. Um, I'm now noticing uh, I originally was gonna plan to have an LED uh, behind here to sort of illuminate the, um, the pulse phaser cannon. Uh, however, I'm probably gonna have to use an SMD in order to achieve that. Uh, same with, um, yeah, same with down here. I don't think there's gonna be enough direct light because you can see the connection port here and they're thankfully <clears throat> all clear. This is all the pulse cannons uh, that you're gonna attach to here. Um, but where I have the, uh, the LED, I don't think there's gonna be enough light spilling. So uh, I'll test it and I'll, you know, I'll always, you know, post the results of what, what I do. But I think for the pulse cannon, uh, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to put an SMD there. Uh, so I'm gonna finish uh, modifying all the parts. Uh, I'll show you everything I do in a moment. All right, so at this point, uh, I've drilled out uh, all the modifications to the ship I'm gonna make, uh, except for the windows. Uh, I've got them cut out here, and as I said, I'm going to use all the black ones because all the white ones will be redundant as we're already gonna light the windows. I'll put those aside for the moment. Uh, here's the bazaars, uh, the LED will be mounted right behind here. Sandwich these together on the main body and we, if we can get this because I remove the connection pins, it won't hold. Also, I may have the opposite. By the way, uh, just while it's upright, mark it with a pick. Drill it in, you should actually have, uh, because there's a lip here, you should actually have uh, a couple holes here. So that'll actually be where the fiber optics will get mounted. It'll make it pretty easy for us. We have the part attached here. Uh, this comes off, so you, there's not a new hole you need to drill, but uh, through, through, the post here to the bottom and I had to actually 
kind of drill it in again just to recenter it. But through there, that's where one of the strobes is going to go. <clears throat> Probably have to paint this uh, separately, but it'll, the fiber optic will go straight through there. Uh, on both sides here, I took my uh, other my manual uh, hand drill, grabbed the largest uh, drill bit, kind of. put these together and then I just kind of worked it with the uh, with the, the hand drill until I got a, a decent enough hole. Uh, same with the front here. The hole there so that when the deflector nose goes in uh, all the wires and the fiber optics will go through and same with the side uh, warp nacelles here. Obviously you don't need to open anything on the warp nacelle side because they're already pretty open and this will get covered up uh, by the, the top of the and bottom of the warp nacelle. So this will all be covered up. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take those decals, apply them all. Uh, most of these are gonna require, like I said, just the half millimeter drill bits. Um, for the large ones, I'm just gonna use a uh, 0.8 millimeter drill bit uh, to drill those out. And then there's actually, on the the nose there's like a uh, a twin set and a single one that goes here and on the bottom here there's a single uh window so we'll drill those out as well and we'll be right back all right so i've got the decals applied and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this pick here it's going to score each place Come off after it's fine you already scored the place uh, all we need the decals for is just to mark the window locations uh, these ones <clears throat> were the larger ones so i'm going to be drawing them out with a 0 0.8 millimeter drill bit side. This one will get one here of the 0.8 millimeter on each side and then this will get the standard 0.5. This one, these three on each side will get the 0.8 and then everything else will get 0.5. I'll do the rest off camera and I'll be back. All right, at this point, we've now gotten all the windows drilled out on the bottom. Uh, actually messed up one window there, had to reputty it and redo it, and some are a little wonky. I'm just gonna live with that, because even with picking it and everything, it still ended up a little wonky, but this small scale is not really gonna matter. Uh, at this point, we are now going to uh, begin light blocking everything. Uh, I'm making a quick edit here for uh, past me here. Uh, as I edited, I realized I didn't mask uh, the two areas here for all the red lights, and I did not mask off the area for the Raytheon effect. So I quickly just sanded those <clears throat> down uh, so I can get light uh, passing back through. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint uh, this red and this red here, and I'm gonna put masks on here, and then I'm gonna continue on uh, with the light blocking like normal, uh, and this is gonna be a quick insert. What I've learned from YouTube videos and what I continue to do now is uh, I do a couple layers of black paint, a couple layers of silver paint, and a couple layers of white paint. Uh, like with any painting, be careful not to overspray. Even when it's in the inside, uh, it's just gonna create a mess. 
Uh, if you have too much paint and you start working with uh, adhesives uh, on the inside, you're gonna end up lifting up a lot of that light blocking and it's gonna be a pain in the butt to, to have to deal with that later because that means you're gonna have to do it uh, light blocking on this side. And that's, that's gonna be a whole thing, like making sure you don't overspray that side. So two uh, light layers is what I usually do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here. First layer, we're going to repeat that after this dries. Uh, we'll be back after we finish up uh, in the next video. Uh, you'll see this all covered in white. Um, you'll see me starting to start the lights essentially. Uh, so in, I'll, I'll see you then.